Hello and welcome back to my latest giant stat video and on this stat video we are looking at the career stats for former light heavyweight and heavyweight champion Michael the Jinx Spinks okay who had an unbeaten career all the way through to fighting Iron Mike Tyson of course um, for the lineal heavyweight title during Tyson's reign in the 80s so let us go through the career stats for Michael Spinks so Michael Spinks, when we look at his first slide of general career stats, Michael Spinks had 32 professional fights, um, you know, and he boxed a total of 226 rounds. Now, Michael Spinks had seven fights against unbeaten fighters. Six of those unbeaten fighters had 10 fights or more. So the reason I put that is so he's not fighting 1-0, and 2-0, and one win, no loss, one draw. He's fighting at least opponents with some experience. Now, Michael Spinks, okay, scored six wins against unbeaten fighters. The one he didn't beat, of course, was... I am Mike Tyson and he scored a lot of knockouts against unbeaten fighters knocking out five of six now the combined record of Michael Spinks's career opponents came in at 689 wins 142 losses and 24 draws so Michael Spinks's total career opponents had a win rate of 80 percent now Michael Spinks's longest win run was from the start of his career right up until prior the Tyson fight a run of 31 fights over two weight divisions and Michael Spinks's longest KO run um, comes in at a KO run of five uninterrupted now when we look at his opponents okay fought with either winning records etc Michael Spinks fought 29 opponents 29 fights I'll say opponents not fights 29 fights against opponents um, from 32 who had a winning record which is a massive percentage uh, coming in at 90% he fought three opponents who had a losing record Spinks um, that comes in at 9% and he fought zero opponents um, Spinks who had a drawn record so that is 0% so Spinks has quite a short career even compared to you know the fighters already on this playlist you know and that can somehow change and affect statistics like combined record of opponent if it have had another 10 fights after that you see uh factoring in the weaker opponents early in his career it would have raised his win percentage but we can only go on what a fight has done like i've always said all careers are different and we can only go on what a fighter has done not what we think or wish he may have done so let's go on to the second slide general career stats now Michael Spinks okay continuing scored 21 knockouts in his career um, which equates to 67% knockout rate from his wins Michael Spinks scored six KOs in three rounds or less so KOs in three rounds or less from his wins comes in at just under 20% at 19 and Michael Spinks scored four first round KOs so the KO percentage for Michael Spinks of first round KOs from his wins is 12% now when we look at uh, the opponents he fought with they coming off wins losses and draws we see um, that Michael Spinks had 22 fights uh, against opponents coming off wins which equates to 68% of his career he also fought 10 opponents okay coming off losses which is near a massive third of his career um, was against fighters coming off losses at 31% Michael Spinks fought zero opponents coming off draws um, so that is zero percent now, when we look at his distance fights, Spinks fought 10 distance fights in his career. He fought zero four-round distance fights, one six-round distance fight, three eight-round distance fights. Spinks also fought one ten-round distance fight, one 12-round distance fight. And Spinks did fight in the 15-round era. He crossed over from the 15 to the 12-round era. Um, and in that time, Michael Spinks fought a total of four 15-round distance fights. Now, Michael Spinks' opponents, okay, from their total fights, okay, averaged 26 fights apiece. Some of the fighters fought fighters who fought over 30 fights on average. Um, and Michael Spinks' fights, okay, averaged 7.0 rounds per fight. So, not obviously a higher average rounds per fight than a big puncher like a Trinidad. Um, but that concludes Michael Spinks' two slides featuring his general career stats. So now, okay, on this next slide, I'll have a quick drink and we'll go to his opponent's fight experience. So, when we look at the total fight experience of Spinks' opponents... Now, Michael Spinks, okay, fought three fights against opponents who had less than 10 fights. He fought eight fights against opponents who had 10 plus fights, nine fights against opponents who had 20 plus fights, and Spinks 
fought six fights against opponents who had 30 plus fights. Opponents though who had 40 plus fights, Spinks fought five and he fought one opponent who had 50 plus fights um, and zero opponents who had 60 plus fights. So basically from Michael Spinks' career, the number of opponents, okay, uh, the percentage of opponents he fought who had 20 fights or more from his total career comes in at 65% and the percentage of opponents he fought who had 40 fights or more, okay, comes in at a total of 18%. Now, obviously, on different fighters, those percentages, like the figures, are going to differ. You know, some fighters fought already on the playlist have fought a bigger chunk of fights against opponents who had 40, 50, or 60 plus fights. Other fighters on the playlist already have fought a bigger chunk of opponents who had, you know, 20 plus or 30 plus fights. All depends on the fighter's career and who they've fought, really, uh, which is quite obvious. But Michael Spinks really. In his short career, he hasn't done bad over 32 fights. He only had 32 professional fights. People say Sugar Ray Leonard had a short career um, going 36-3 and 1 with 25 KOs. But Michael Spinks is actually 31 and 1. So he had a way shorter career in fight number than even Sugar Ray Leonard. So let us jump onto our next slide now for Michael Spinks. Um, and we can see that this is champion and Hall of Fame stats. So Michael Spinks had a total of eight fights against world champions in his career. Michael Spinks for less than 100 rounds against champions coming in with a total of 83. And Michael Spinks' record against champions comes in um, at a record of seven wins with only that one defeat, of course, to Iron Mike Tyson um, and zero draws. So Michael Sp Spinks' win rate against champions champions comes in at 87 percent and in individual champions being okay michael spinks beat five individual champions he beat one lineal champion in his career and spinks's record against lineal champions is two wins one loss and no draw and michael spinks fought a total in his career of 31 rounds against lineal champions now spinks has winning rate against lineal champions thus two from three comes in at 66 percent win rate against lineal champions and michael spinks interestingly beat zero unified champions in his career and zero undisputed champions in his career and some people would say larry holmes he were never unified he held the WBC, then obviously later held the IBF. Now, Michael Spinks scored two KOs against champions. He did fight one unified and undisputed champion, by the way. I am Mike Tyson, but obviously he lost. Now, Michael Spinks, okay, scored two KOs against champions um, in his career. And his KO rate against champions um, comes in at 28% from his wins against champions. So Spinks didn't really knock out most of the champions he actually um, beat. You know, other fighters, you know, like Trinidad, like Tyson scored bigger um, knockout percentages against champions. Um, other fighters like Spinks and others score a lower percent. You know, it just depends on the career as well. But Spinks is like from the, you know, fought over the early 80s. And initially, I won't be going back beyond that for now so let us go on to this slide champion and all of fame stats slide two the lineal champions uh, michael spinks beat was in fact larry holmes and michael spinks had four fights against hall of famers in his career as thus michael spinks spent 12 percent of his career um in the ring against hall of fame fighters and the rounds fought against hall of famers spinks comes in having fought 46 rounds against hall of famers and spinks's record against hall of famers comes in at three wins one loss and no draw so thus michael spinks has a 75 percent win rate against hall of fame fighters and michael spinks himself okay beat two hall of fame fighters but he scored zero ko's against Against Hall of Famers Michael Spinks thus his KO percentage against Hall of Famers is also 0% so obviously the percent of career against Hall of Famers you know that percentage will rock it up um, you know when I go back if I if I you know, go, go, when I go back beyond the 80s, um, you know, one fighter I will fight who goes back beyond the 80s is Roberto Duran. He, of course, will get his video, but that's because he fought through the 80s, you know, um, a long time, etc., etc. We know the story with Duran. So he did turn pro before the 80s, um, but he fought into the 80s a lot and had a lot of fights. So he will be covered, um, but I won't really be going back, um, you know, to maybe Arguello might get in. I might put Arguello in anyway just so his stats there, because I have his stats, so that'd be a good video. 
So anyway, um, I'm getting deflected. So title record stats. So Michael Spinks' title fight record is an excellent 14 wins, one loss, no draw across two weight divisions. Thus, Michael Spinks um, fought 46% of his career in world title fights. So nearly a full half of all his career was in world title fights. Michael Spinks made a total of 12 title defences. And Michael Spinks' unified title fight record um, comes in at five win, one loss and no draw. Thus, Michael Spinks spent 18% of his career in unified title fights. Like Holyfield will have a much bigger percentage there, um, as will Vladimir Klitschko, as will others. Now, uh, Michael Spinks' undisputed title fight record that not many fighters have even had okay, up to now is three win, one loss, no draw. So Michael Spinks spent 12% of his career um, in undisputed title fights. And he fought a total of 136 title fight rounds. And Michael Spinks' title fights have averaged 9.0 rounds apiece. Now, the combined record of Michael Spinks' title fight opponents come in at 402 wins, 28 losses and 8 draws. So Spinks' title fight opponents come in with a 91% win rate. Now, the rated opponents Spinks be in title fights. Okay, he scored 13 wins against top 10 fighters in title fights from 14 wins. So it shows uh, pretty much he was fighting high-ranked opposition throughout his title career. Spinks also fought, uh, he scored five wins, sorry, against top three rated fighters in title fights. And Spinks scored four wins against ring champions. Now, against world champions, okay, Michael Spinks scored a total of five wins um, in his title fights against world champions he scored three wins against hall of fame fighters in um, world title fights and michael spinks also um, scored four wins against pound for pound rated fighters in title fights so spinks only one of those wins in his title career uh, wins was not against a top 10 rated fighter so that is a very high percentage uh, i was going to put that percentage on by the way percentage um, of, to of top 10 um, opponents in title fights but yeah, the slides were filling up too much but I have other stats like I said um, but yeah those stats are very interesting so on to ranking so Michael Spinks okay um, was top 10 rated for a total of 8 years he was top 10 rated in 2 divisions Spinks was also top 3 rated for the same tally of 8 years and he was also um, top 3 rated in the same 2 divisions and Michael Spinks was a ring champion for 5 years and he was a ring champion in 2 weight divisions so that means okay Michael Spinks was a top 10 rated fighter for 66% of his career. Michael Spinks scored in ring rating points which um, is a basic system I created uh, motivated to create that system by someone else on YouTube um, whose channel I like a lot basically awards points each year they're rated so Michael Spinks scored 142 ring rating points and his record against rated fighters Michael Spinks had 15 fights against top 10 rated fighters with a record of 14 wins one loss and no draw so Spinks has a 93% win rate against top 10 fighters against top 3 rated fighters in his career Spinks had 8 fights with a record of 7 win one loss and no draw meaning Spinks has an 87% win rate against top 3 fighters and against ring champion Spinks has a total of four fights um, including three win one loss and no draw so Spinks has a win rate against ring champions throughout his career of 75 percent so there is the rankings and rated opponent slide um, for Michael Spinks now we shall go on to what divisions he was rated in okay and where Spinks if uh, and when was the highest rated fighter in any division so when we think about the divisions he was top 10 ranked in, Michael Spinks was top 10 ranked at light heavyweight and heavyweight. He was also top 3 ranked at light heavyweight and heavyweight. And Michael Spinks was also a ring champion at light heavyweight and heavyweight. Now being the highest rated fighter in the division, okay, Trinidad only came in at two years, which is, you know, probably surprising to many people. Um, but... Michael Spinks betters that at five-year tally. Uh, in 1983, Spinks was the highest-rated light heavyweight. In 1984, he was also the highest-rated light heavyweight. And then 1985, Spinks was the highest-rated heavyweight. 1986, he was the highest-rated heavyweight. And 1987, he was the highest-rated heavyweight. The next year, of course, he was usurped by Iron Mike Tyson. So Spinks was basically rated highest fighter in the division for five years in his career um, over 
two weight divisions. Yes, that appeals to like Floyd Mayweather and Manny Pacquiao. Um, but, you know, you'll see some other surprises in that as we go forward. I'll just have a quick little drink. Wow, I'm bombing through this video. 14 and a half minutes already. Firing through it. So, there is Sphinx's rankings. Okay, and highest rated fighter by division. So I wonder if I should add that percentage. No, 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 don't add anymore. Leave it as it is. Leave it as it is. I've got them stats. Leave it as it is. So anyway, let's go on to the next slide, okay? Pound for pound information. Now, Michael Spinks was pound for pound top 10 rated in his career for five years in my all-time rankings, and he scored a total of 38 pound for pound rating points. Spinks was also pound for pound top three rated for a total of three years, and he was also pound for pound number one rated for two years. Now, the percentage of Michael Spinks' career that he was actually a rated pound for pounder comes in at 41%. Michael Spinks beat a total of four individual pound for pound rated fighters from his six fights overall against pound for pounders and Spinks's record against pound for pounders comes in at five win one loss and no draw again that one defeat to Iron Mike Tyson now the percentage of Michael Spinks's career that he was partaking in fights against pound for pounders is 18 percent and Michael Spinks's win rate against pound for pound rated fighters he fought in his career comes in at 83 percent now, in terms of pound for pound top three wins, okay, Michael Spinks comes in having four wins um, against pound for pound top three rated fighters, but he never scored a win over a pound for pound number one rated fighter, so that is zero, and thus he beat zero pound for pound number one rated fighters. That is something else that radically differs. Many fighters in more modern era, they have less rematches. They still have a number of rematches, but less rematches than many of the all-time greats in the past. You know, so many of the all-time greats in the past still have like 10 wins against pound pound number ones, but they've only beat three. Modern guys will often match numbers a lot of the time. Beat two for two, three for three. Not all times, but a lot of times. So on to our final slide, world titles. Michael Spinks won four world titles in his career. The world titles, um, you know, Spinks won were at the following divisions, light heavyweight and heavyweight. Spinks was a unified champion at light heavyweight and Spinks was also um, in something in modern era that you won't see too much of. Um, he was also undisputed champion at light heavyweight. Now the time. From when Spinks won his first world title to when he won his last world title, okay, comes in at a period of four years, two months, and three days. Now, that radically differs. Now, Pacquiao is the standard bearer in that. Over 20 years, he was winning world titles. You know, Floyd Mayweather's is only over 16 years, and many fighters I've covered since are not even hitting 10 years plus. Um, so, you know... Those stats and those countdowns will go on boxinglibrarian.com. What I update after I've uploaded each video. So there's my latest giant stat video, Michael Spinks. More fighters coming very soon. I'm out.